Um, when it comes to email and file organization, I have kind of created this on my own. Um, I know Kyle has a very different view of how to treat his email. Um, we don't see eye to eye on that. Um, and I, I, don't, I, won't, I won't claim to be an inbox zero guy, um, but pretty close to it. I typically will get to maybe three to five and that need attention and everything else um, has a home. It's, it's either an unsubscribe and please unsubscribe like a lot, you guys. There's nothing that you cannot find using Google, right? Like if you have stuff coming in, that's anything that you might be able to search with a like one phrase, you don't need it in your inbox, get rid of it. Um, and then if it's actual work, make folders in your inbox and put them where they go. My workflow for email is to, I work through it, even, even property notifications through Follow Up Boss and YLOPO, like look at each one of them. And if I need to contact that person or call them that day, I put a call reminder. I don't call them right then and there because I'm working in email. I'm not making prospect calls. Um, and, and then I delete it. And same thing with anything property related. Like if there's a property that we've written an offer on and maybe I need to do something for it, it's going to stay there unread in my inbox until I do something about it. And once I do, it moves to the appropriate folder. And once we close the file, I archive the file, put it in the, in the next folder that goes here. This is my, uh, my folder hierarchy as far as how we save things. It goes in there and then I archive that whole thing. So like there's a system and working a system really helps you with organization um, because each, each email, it's got a place. It's, hopefully already marked or filtered out of spam if it's junk. If it's trash that you don't want, it should be in the delete. And if it's something related to a file, it should be in the folder until you're done working with that file. And then you can get to literally um, zero or a few, a handful of emails in your inbox at any one time. Another main reason, this is just a screen grab of the Apple Mail web, like for PC would be Outlook, right? This is just the standard thing that it comes with. Um, the reason I like it is because I've got about seven different email addresses and I can receive them all in this program and it doesn't matter where they came from, I can still shove them in the same folder. So like I've got, you know, this property on Iowa Street, right? Well, if I get an email from whether it's my whistle account or my old Surfside Homes one or my Agajanian group, it doesn't matter where it comes, I can still put it in that folder. You can't really do that and save email from one account into a different Gmail folder or, or tag, I guess they call them in, in webmail um, through the web browser. You can only do that through this type of um, application. So that's why I prefer to use it this way and it's cool because once I'm done with the folder on the left that is full of emails, I just get rid of it and move on. And that's when it'll go into here. This is how I organize um, the files that I work on. So I have, you know, just the whole system. If it's a seller, it's the property address. If it's a buyer, it's last name first, comma, you know, first name or first name and first name. Um, and it works really well. We share this, it's on my computer. It's also in Dropbox or it's backed up. Spencer has access to it. Um, and if I, if he gets to his email and saves a home inspection, for example, before I get to it, I don't need to worry about it because it's already in the same folder that we share. So just having everything, all these little systems amount to a lot of time saving and, and productivity as a whole. So yeah. Mm, what do you mean? I've never tried. What I usually do with Bomb Bomb is just use the app on the phone. Um, I've never tried to do it within Apple Mail, but I would. I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Um, a lot of times when I'm setting Bomb Bombs, I'm shooting them via text. Um, but uh, you could totally, I mean, it would be one extra step, I guess, but I don't know, there might be some sort of patch in or something like that that works with Apple Mail. I haven't looked into it. Um, more systems and organization. This is the wall in our office. Um, I have 
messed around with uh, Trello and Asana and Monday and just was commenting to Spencer this morning that I really like this being up on the wall. Um, I like being able to look over and see all these people that are on the left and needing to move them to the right to get transactions done. And um, I just I just like that visual up, up in your face all the time. It's always there. And we've color coded it. The yellow is sellers and the green is buyers, which in this day and age, I wish was opposite right now. But um, that's what we got going. And it's just another little system to help us know we have a Tuesday sync before this meeting. And we know we look at the board and we talk about what each client needs and what we need to do to push them to the right. Um, so it's just another mini system that helps with the big system of organizing things.